Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a little while since I posted my last video and with all the craziness going on in the world right now, I just want to take a moment to wish everyone that they're doing well and I hope your family and friends are all avoiding this situation. So in a few videos back, I actually made a custom fly fishing net and to go along with that net, I actually need a new fly box. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and make an awesome looking fly box, a one of a kind. Um, it's a design that I came up with and I haven't seen around yet, so I'm excited to give that a go. I hope it just will take everyone's mind off the current situation going on right now. So please sit back and enjoy the video and let's get to it. All right, so now we have our male portion cut and also our female portion. You can see those here. So now with our female portion, you can see that it left all these uh, cut marks from the saw blade and we wanna get that really smooth and also we wanna make this be a really tight fit. Uh, not way tight, but enough that it can move freely. So to do that, I cut a piece of scrap wood here at that same 30 degree angle that we cut in here. And I'm just gonna glue some sandpaper onto there. And that way we can come into here and sand that perfectly smooth and get that tight fit we're looking for. All right, so the sanding is finally done. It took forever just to kind of dial it in, but I have it now to where I like the feel of it. Um, it still has a little friction fit, which is nice, but I'll be able to get rid of that. It'll make it a little more smoother when I add the finish onto it. But right now it is fitting pretty good. It has a little friction to it and the fit is pretty nice. I like it. So now what I'm gonna do is take it over to the mill and I'm gonna hog out this top portion here and that's where our recess will be and where we can put our flies. So over to the mill we go.
Everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment below and let me know what you would like to make using this technique and something that you could put in this box. Also, if you guys want a sweet apron like this, go over and visit Purpose and Thread. I will leave a link in the description below and you can go over there and Brenda, the craftsman of these aprons, makes these by hand and I cannot recommend it enough. These are just high quality and amazing pieces of workwear. Again, thank you everyone for your support and we'll catch you on the next build.